They've got good, strong laners with, uh, or typically strong laners with Lucian and Akali. They have an effective early game jungler with the Gragas. But against this Vitality comp... We have that 1k gold lead, no kills, no towers. That's built off the Klepto procs from the respective lanes, as well as the gold. And now Kick is running top, hoping to get something back here. Prophet not quite with the ultimate up and available. Cabo Shard, where is he going to go? Trying to queue out. The TP is now coming in, but it looks like Cabo Shard will fall here in the end. TP can't be canceled. And that's first blood for Rogue. Now that does surprise me because he was pinged out. They should have known what Kikis was, not that is in some trouble. Oh, ulti right off the Tech is on the way. Jizuke could just go down right here. Sanks is going to leave him the first proc of the ult. Looking for the second one to come through. Should be able to find the execute damage into the tower. Rogue striking back with two kills. Jizuke is able to get one kill back as Prophet falls to the tower. And Vitality will exchange it for a Drake. But you're right. And Kikis is here in mid. He's definitely the being a The sword of the occult? <laughs> That's the wrong word. I'm sorry. <laughs> that that item's not in the game. Jizuke now running for his life. Glad this man does not have a sword of the occult. Because he might just try to find a kill here. Might try to get the snowball started. And send Cucks goes right into the shout. Mowgli trying to get something back, but it looks like they may just turn it on him. Unstoppable. And send Cucks really showing up on the Sakali. Yes, he certainly is. Now Cabo Shot going in 1v1 against Prophet. No flash to the top side. Mowgli going back, using the flash to make it out. Cabo trying to make something happen on the top side. You hear the ulti coming out from Scion as he retreats there, and he is going. But still, Vitality sit with the gold lead. And the kills are so heavily going in the favor of Rogue. These ganks and these plays, but the objectives continue to go in the favor of Vitality. Realm Warp comes in for Jazuke. Jack Troll, not sure if he wants to extend this one. They are going to keep going on a prop. They see that he's very squishy, and Mowgli's on the way in as well to try and finish this one. Unstoppable now for the Olaf. He is just going to retreat. Takes another tower shot. He's so low, but Prophet just not quite fast enough with the zombie sign. Kill threat onto Jazuke as well. And uh, Redemption has been finished for Mowgli to the item that we were talking about earlier. Rahiku going in. Going forward onto Attila. Jackal going to try to push him back. Hawking him up, though. The Ignite is ticking down, but Hiku can only hit Jackal right now. Kick is thrown in the cast. That is going to be the kill. Going over to Wadid. Getting this fight kicked off. They're finding the weak point right now on Vitality, and they're pushing in. Finding the two kills there on the top side for Rogue. Great play from the side of Rogue. There was actually little to no vision. That, uh, Rogue find themselves two quick kills. They've closed the gold gap just a little bit, but the bomb again. be the key to picking off Attila and Jack Troll on the top side. But sadly, oh, Matrix trying to fight the fight here, trying to turn it. Hiku is going to step back, looking for a little bit more. Attila's in the backside, but Senkux wants to clean up this Ezreal. He's going to dash right out, and Olaf is chasing nothing. Rogue find two in the mid lane. Solid pickups. And this is two big kills. That I'm not Rogue sure if he's willing to give his life for this exchange. I don't think it's worth it. It will mean that Vitality move up to three Drakes in the game now. One of the big engaged tools is Prophet, but because he's so far behind right now, it's much better if he's keeping someone busy elsewhere. Going onto Attila. Hold that thought. The cast comes out and they manage to take him down. They're going to set their sights on mid lane and immediately break it. HeQ playing so much no. better. This Jace, the strong point for the team, moving into this pit, moving into this fight. They are at a man disadvantage, but Prophet now on the way in too with the TP. Eyes set on the Alistair. Maybe they're going to be able to find Jack Troll here. Mowgli now on the retreat. They're not going to be able to get the Baron, but they are going to be able to take down Jack Troll. Bad news, though. Jizuke remains on the bottom side and is threatening that inhibitor tower. And it's really good for the wave, but now Rogue know that they have a man advantage over the top side. Instead, they're going to settle for the Dragon. So risky gambit there from Vitality does not pay off as Rogue are able to get the objective for free. But this is actually something Vitality did last year. When they found a ooh, we've got a TP, TP up. towards the top side. Vitality going for a fight. No TP on Senka. Now trying to get a little, little bit more here. Hiku coming in the backside. Attila is going to get knocked up. The chain CC coming in from the side. Now Hiku flashes to the wall. He's absolutely fearless. He is ready. He is tired of being disrespected. And he goes right into the middle of the fight to find the kills here. Krag is going to grab one. Hiku going to grab the second. Jizuke now in trouble as the team continues to plow through. Vitality caught off guard. Rogue not hesitating to make this happen. And now the chain CC comes in immediately on Jizuke. He over stays is welcome, and HeQ gets another kill. Jizuke flashes in to make the hero play, but it is... Hero moment, it was a Lee Sin kick yesterday. Can it be a Baron steal today? Senkux immediately going into the combo, trying to buy time, trying to zone him off, trying to shut that jungler down. Senkux leaping to safety. Zonya's hourglass perfectly timed. Senkux will get shut down. Would he trying to stop the jungler from getting into the pit? Rogue split attention, and it's disastrous, but they do get the Baron in the end. They keep four members alive, and Rogue... Inhibitor, but Rogue, if they can pull the trigger on a fight, could just look to end the game. Inhibitor traded, or at least one taken down there. They're not going to be able to back soon enough. Vitality ready to stop those recalls so Jazuke can complete the inhibitor. Yeah, wow. He actually trades an inhibitor in this situation. He's going to keep going. I th Whoa, they're trying Jack to stop Troll these. Wanting to get that one out. He is going to stop it. Jazuke, this is no. Vitality 101. Desperation. The TP's coming in. The TP's are coming in. Rogar trying to respond, but it might be too little too late. It's a desperation move for Vitality, but it's going to pay off. Vitality taking down Rogue. Breaking for Rogue as they
they get backdoored by Vitality. We they weren't the expecting cut. it. We weren't expecting it. We were on the cusp of a rogue win. Vitality up to the tempo. They tried to match that play. They tried to shift things up and teleport into that Baron. It turned against them. But then they did it one more time. They upped the tempo one more time. Oh. They took one more big risk, and that one paid off. And I, just, I feel like in that last one, Rogue just needed to commit. They needed to make the decision, we're going to end the game now. But they backed off, and that just gave them all the time in the world to... And you'd think that with the Baron and Pad recalls, they could get back in base, but Jack Troll flashed in. Everyone was just flashing in to interrupt. And then you had the Tubble Teleport come through with a stack of minions. That was great. Vitality should have lost that game. But with creative thinking and